in this video we are going to create a double exposure effect again uh, it's pretty much nice and simple uh, actually I am exposing uh, from two sides so it will be really really amazing and super fun so uh, it will be the output so you can see that looks great and awesome so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time Let's just drag our uh, character first inside our Photoshop. There we have the image. First of all, what we'll do is we'll simply just uh, create a selection around this character. So I'm fine with the selection. Uh, now we will invert this. Press Control I. Oh, sorry. We press Control Shift I to invert the selection. And now we'll uh, create a layer mask on it. So it will uh, remove the background so right click on this and click on refine mask from here uh, what we'll do is actually we will just select our refine edge eraser button size it up uh, from here and we will brush out the areas which we don't want to uh, use in our final image so i think that's uh, that's pretty much nice yes now we'll simply just uh, click on output to a uh, new layer with layer mask and click on ok so that will be very much fine and now simply just we'll create a new document size of the document is uh, 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels and resolution i'm keeping this is 300 pixels per inch color mode is RGB and we name this layer uh, name this document as uh, exposure so click on ok that's great now we'll fill it with a white color so we'll press R plus backspace to fill this with a white color name this layer as uh, BG as background now we'll click and drag this image right inside our main document now press ctrl T before uh, we do anything else we will first center dye this so we'll semper, uh, size it down a little bit to fix it according to our needs i think it looks great here i'll we'll press ctrl a and then we'll make a selection and press ctrl d now we have centered this and uh, on the next step uh, we will do is we'll bring our second image to expose from the cap so i'm going to use uh, this image so we'll click on double click so that's great now we'll press ctrl alt and click between these two layers or you can simply just right click on this layer and click on uh, create clipping mask it will mask out the areas you will see which looks great and now we'll press ctrl t and size it down until we are satisfied with the setting so let me just uh, sell, uh, fix the size like uh, like this and just downside yes now simply just change this layer blending mode to uh, light color very cool I think it looks pretty much great yes now we'll click and create a mask on this layer and we will brush select our brush tool so your foreground color should be black size it down and we will just simply brush out the area which we don't want to use same thing uh, we'll do for our image I think it looks uh, pretty much nice here but um, let me just try this no nope, it will not work here so uh, until we are nice here we'll select our background layer which is our character or we can say that model and we will uh, go to image adjustments and we'll create um what should we create is uh i think we should just go to levels but not applied on this layer we will simply just undo first of all and then select our model layer and go to um levels from the levels we will make the levels 
um, darker that looks great I think it's a bit nice uh, here maybe a little bit more let's increase some light that looks great now you can see ev uh, all the images goes goes dark so we'll simply just select our uh, curves and th uh, curves uh, sorry levels and select our thumbnail select your brush tool size it up and we'll simply just brush out the area on which we don't want to use our uh, this uh, kind of thing so I think it's nice uh, looks here so great and we'll size it down that looks much better select the trees and we'll remove the trees which don't want to use so that's great now we will select our this layer and name this layer as a uh, tree one and this is uh, level so don't worry about that now uh, select your tree layer uh, rasterize this and now we'll go to image uh, adjustments go to levels from the levels we will select from presets to light cool and you will see the other things gone only the needed things are left so I think it looks much better that looks great click on ok and you will see this is the basic thing and now uh, we will apply uh, this on our downside of this uh, character so we will uh, select our second image which is uh, this one or this one you can use uh, sorry you can use any of them but let's try one by one so let me just try this first one select your drag it into main document uh, right click on this and click on flip vertical and now we'll size it down to adjust this according to our model size so I think it looks great here and now we'll click control alt and again clip uh, mask this or simply just right click on this and click on create clipping mask and then select normal to uh, light colors looks nice and on the other hand we'll simply just select all of these uh, layers in uh, just left the background and we'll pick uh, it up right here in the center to check what's going on here so now we'll pick our our character like this press ctrl t and size it down I think it looks uh, looks great here yes I think it's nice yes that looks great now we will uh, right click on this and rasterize this and go to image adjustments and go to uh, levels again preset should be fixed to lighter and now we will make it uh, white and a little bit of dark like this click on ok and you will see it looks great but we'll move it to the top until we are satisfied with this I think we are nice nice here looks uh, nice here so uh, this is the first image let's try a second image which is this one click and drag this right on top of all this right click on this and click on vertical then size it down same thing for this image also and uh, right here and then for this image right click on this and click on create clipping mask turn off the first one and now rasterize this and normal to light colors that looks great and now we'll go to uh, uh, image adjustments and levels and change the presets to lighter and then increase the white color and decrease the black color looks nice and then simply just move it on top until you are satisfied with this that looks nice so we will use uh, this one one image and this is the second image so I think we are fine with the second image so let's just 
do it like this looks great that is nice now we'll select our character and uh, go to uh, levels and make it a little bit darker to look much better nice and now we'll brush out create mask select your brush tool size it up selecting your foreground color as black and just uh, soft make your uh, uh, soft and then select second layer and make mask and soft this out and that's great and nice now uh, basic thing is done let's just apply some color options and some uh, we can say that uh, uh, what we can apply on this I think we should just apply a light so select your brush tool create a new brush sorry new layer size it up right click on this your hardness should be 0% change your foreground color to uh, this color size it up and yes we will pick uh, put some color here and here and here but instead of that we will use a yellow color first now size it up then size it down and now we'll change this color to a little dark orange color and double click inside that now change this normal to screen or I think uh, screen is nice looks much better or you can move this to about right here and turn this into vertical yes I think it's nice here looks great now let's, let's apply overall color so we'll go to color balance and we'll make our image like this So that's nice um, I hope you like this video if you like this video and found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up you can add a lot more cool stuff inside that so just play with the settings and you will get a lot more cool things so all the files uh, which I have used in this video links are given in the description bar you can free download all of these files and we will meet in our next video never stop and never depend do not forget to subscribe and keep learning